It's freezing! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't... I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna do if that happens? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa! There's no way we can pull off something like that! I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Oh, wait, I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place, for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh boy. Then it's decided! 
I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. So, what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding the... Huh? I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Wait, do you already know how to play the bass? Because that would be awesome! Actually, I know next to nothing about it. Way to step up, partner! Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Hey, baby, I'll lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You two, um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks... Doesn't this at least look like a band? Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's not doing anything. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read music. I guess I'm going to have to transfer schools after all. Once more from the top. One, two, three. That wasn't me, I think. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well.
A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. Oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Let's just ignore this bear. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. get into that do-or-die spirit sometimes. But that seems fitting for him. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. A real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. We're here to start a band, not a fight club. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke-senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this! broken after all. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Well, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three. That sound pretty good? <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back and a lifetime of public adoration away. Hell no! We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. C come on, everyone! Let's cheer up, okay? And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine! <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm gonna play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That sings about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before.
You're back. crowd's a lot bigger than I expected. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh, our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer! You, you shut your stupid bear trap! I don't need to hear this! You've been on TV before, right, Naoto-kun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? You really are something. Now that's our sensei. He's got big brass balls. And when I say balls, I mean... We get it, we get it. It's a figure of speech. We don't care. Shut up. Huh? Did someone just... Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Risei John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full blown, one time only performance. Now, who's ready? We, we are! are. <laughs> Fired up and ready to go! Now, listen up! We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Alright, let's do this! Here goes! Yeah! Asking for an encore. encore, encore oh, yeah, I, I didn't think about that. Encore, encore, we only know encore, one song. Encore, what do we do encore, now? Encore, 
There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I saw that guy before. Teddy? <laughs> yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being alive! Per Stupid Teddy! We can't play without him! Hey! Hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! Stage dive? Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Then what are we going to do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. They just dodged out of the way. I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. You're back. Chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. 
That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... You know, that thing. Um... Base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um... I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless! <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto cool riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? That's it! I quit! This just ain't my thing. The hell with the exams! It's time for my animal crackers. Ooh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin! Hands off the penguin! It's mine! Ugh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library. But I still can't find anything about me. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Oh, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or day. That's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too. And we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you. Not in front of Nanako-chan. Am I really a king? <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day! I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei.
Senpai. Yeah! Sorry. Man. It's, it's fine, okay? Counting on you. Nanako. Please.
Yeah. That's so. Senpai. The hell? Later.
Ha, <laughs> Welcome. Finally over. Hey, about question eight. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. See you later.
रखी है for you. I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. Don't rescue any more. Is this a warning? No punctuation or capital. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Did you show this to your uncle? Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to our... He will ask why you received such a letter, and if he were to put you under surveillance, our hand... If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his... And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. your fingers it's just a prank I think the chances of that are slim this message is too specific too perfect to be a prank but how could the killer know so much about us could he be watching us from somewhere Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there he senses someone watching us wait every time we went to the other side to rescue someone did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything.
The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? change the subject then? The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I bet my lunch on it. Senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. Oh, she just had to say something. Well, as you all know, next week is the Culture Festival. And as you also know, we still haven't decided what our class is going to do for it. <sighs> you guys don't care, do you? We are going to decide based on the suggestions we have so far. Please vote for one of them. 
Here they are. Break area, video room, and study room. Wow. Sounds like whatever we pick, we don't need to put any effort into it. Talk about lack of motivation. Yeah, but the easier the better, right? Oh, one more. Um, group date cafe. Hey, who put in a suggestion like that? Was it you, Chie? Yeah, right. Why would I do such a thing? What's a group date cafe? Who knows? But I doubt anyone will vote for it. Our class is actually a pretty serious bu- Yeah, it's just a joke idea. You gotta have one weird one mixed in, you know? Ah, figures! We'll be passing around the vote sheet. Just circle one of the suggestions. First vote is group date cafe. Second vote, group date cafe. Third vote, video room. Fourth vote, group date cafe. Group date cafe, group date cafe, study room, group date cafe. Well, first place? What are we gonna do? Me? This is your fault! I do wonder, though, do all those people who voted for it realize they have to run it themselves? I've never been on a group date before, so I was a little curious. What the? You voted for it? Yeah. I thought it would be sad if no one voted for it. But Yosuke's the one behind it! Hey, it wasn't just me. It came in first place. The public agrees. Well, since the majority rules, we'll be doing the group date cafe. But what does that even mean? Is it like speed dating? Can we really pull this off? You'd all better pitch in on this. Actually, would the teachers be okay with this? Dude, how could Kashiwagi say no? Miss Kashiwagi's busy getting ready for those two notorious pageants. That's why she's leaving it up to us students to decide what to do. Yeah, right. She just dumped it in our laps because she didn't want to bother. Group date cafe? Are we going to get any customers with this? Seriously, what is a group date cafe? I voted for it and I didn't even know. Oh my gosh. How the heck's this going to turn out?
Good morning. Yo! It's quite all right. Hey! 
Excuse me. Hey!
Yep. Yo! So that's why she agreed to plan the... One, two... Wow, there's a lot of sign-ups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Whoa, Rise Kujikawa? Seriously? I bet. Wow. Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now, it's... Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers.
Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's a uh, pretty cute. Yo, are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. She looked pretty serious. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. No, right? Like it was just a joke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that! With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out! Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. in the beauty pageant? Well, I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Hmm. Well, excuse me for not fitting in! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? <laughs> huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? Well, I, I, I didn't say nothing. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? jealous not wanting me to show off to other guys but I guess you're not that uptight hey you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke aren't you so long as there are people looking forward to seeing me I might as well put on a show for them of course there's no need to involve my agency in this that's right that's the way to go Teddy's looking forward to it too Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. Oh, so Ted's behind this too. We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. Uh I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! Doubts? What are you talking about? Look, just, just do it, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? So tired. 
Where'd you guys go? Over to Jeunesse. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Is this about the group date cafe? Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? <sighs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we roll up this bit of cloth, won't it kind of be like a ball? Yeah, okay, I'll be the catcher. Why the catcher? Hey, Yosuke, want to be the batter? <sighs> Uh, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm in. Watch me slam that ball right back in your face. Hey, you guys better get serious about this. Welcome back. Hey, it's Yosuke. We're expecting great things from you. <laughs> They're doing the cross-dressing pageant again this year? Man, they never learn, do they? Ooh, some people have signed up already. <laughs> Man, what idiots would want to be in this thing? Let's see. Me? Wait, and Kanji Tatsumi? You're on here too! Wow, there's a lot of contestants. Didn't we only get like two people last year? I heard this year, even if someone else signs you up, you can't back out. Well, that's not cool. Hey, but what if they did sign themselves up? 
Ew, what a disturbing thought. Seriously, that's really wrong. Someone else signs you up? It's them. They must have done this. You better have a damn good explanation for this. for signing us all up in the cross-dressing pageant. It was you, wasn't it? Oh, that thing! Risei-chan started saying, let's all have fun with this, so I didn't really have a choice. And Kashiwagi seems happy too now that there's more people involved in it. Cross-dressing! Cross-dressing! Well, you're the one who started it! It's because of you that we can't back out of the beauty pageant, so it serves you right! That's beside the point. Don't worry. We'll make you absolutely enchanting, okay? That's not what's important here. It's about a man's pride, damn it! No, right? You heard him. This is absolutely out of the question. Yeah, yeah, this has nothing to do with pride or any of that. You know already, right? Once someone signs you up, you can't back out. If you got a problem with that, go talk to Ms. Kashiwagi. There's no way she's gonna listen. doing this, period. Kanji-kun, are you still okay as far as the mandatory attendance policy? I don't think it would be wise to disappoint a teacher too much. You are a scary gal. You know that, senpai? Just leave it to us to dress you guys up. Risei-chan's with us too. There's no way you won't turn out pretty. You're positive we'll be pretty? Guarantee it. Hey, why are you suddenly fine with this? Well, if we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. There's nothing manly about being a woman. I seriously refuse. Kashiwagi's sure gonna get angry if you don't show up. Maybe you and Kanji-kun can be classmates next year. 
Why is this happening? We all end up in the same boat without our consent. What kind of joke is this? Uh, the exact same joke you pulled on us? If we gotta do this, might as well go all the way with it. 